Alright, let's talk about how to find the third side of a triangle if we know two of the lengths. I'm going to use my noodles here to, to kind of look at an example. Um, this one measures 3 inches and this one measures 4 inches. Now if we knew that this was a right triangle, a triangle that has a 90 degree angle, um, and say these were the two legs. Well, then it's very specific that there's only one length, okay? Picture that third triangle, that third side of the triangle right there. There is only one length. If that's fixed at 90 degrees, you're going to use Pythagorean theorem and you will have one answer. But what if they don't tell you that it's a right triangle? They just say, oh, you've got two side lengths, three and four. Well, you could make a triangle like this. What we're going to picture right now is attaching these two segments and picturing an elastic from here to here, okay? So you, it's invisible, but there's a third side connecting these two, okay? One that stretches. All right, so we've got a triangle here. We've got a triangle here. We've got a triangle here. We've got a triangle here, right? Picture that third side there. So we have a lot of different possible answers. But you don't have, it's not gonna be infinite. Okay, um, there are limitations to this. So here's what I want you to picture right now. You've attached these two. Okay, you've got all these different triangle lengths. Remember, this is three inches and this is four inches. I have a triangle all the way until bam, I close it all the way shut. The elastic right here, ask yourself what that's measuring right now. Okay, this was three inches, this was four inches. How long is that third side now? All right, if you subtract these, the difference here is one. So my elastic or my third side right now is one inch, but I don't have a triangle, right? So to create the triangle, I can open this up. As soon as I open that up, I've got a triangle. And when I do that, what's happening to this elastic? It's getting bigger, right? So it did not work at one because that made it a straight line, but as soon as you make that a little bigger, it's going to work. So my third side has to be bigger than one. Now, triangle, 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 straight line. I no longer have a triangle again. Okay, now if these are attached, remember this was three and this was four. So now that elastic was reaching all the way across them. So now how long is that third side? Well, three and four, that's going to be seven. But it does not make a triangle at seven. All right, it's laying flat. But it worked all the way up until seven. That worked, that worked, that worked, that worked, that all worked. It just didn't work once you reached seven. Seven was too big. Okay, so let's talk about what that means. It has to be bigger than one. And remember, I got that by subtracting. And then it worked all the way until it laid flat like that. And now it's seven, and it's no longer working. Okay, so it had to be less than seven. So it's got to be between one and seven. So if I look at the actual theorem, the theorem says um, if we're given two side lengths of a triangle, then we can determine the range of the possible lengths of the third side. Your third side must be greater than the difference. Okay, remember difference means subtract. It's greater than the difference of the first two sides and less than their sum. And sum means when you add them. Okay? So let's look at an example. All right. Um, if you have two pencils, one measuring two inches, the other measuring five inches, I actually have that here. This one's measuring five inches. Of course, these are noodles, not pencils. And this one measures two inches. Okay, so picture those two being attached at one endpoint. Okay, when is it going to work? The theorem itself is very easy, but I'm trying to give you a visual in case you forget that actual theorem. All right, so it works until it goes flat. This was too small. Okay, so five and two. That third side is now three. So three didn't work, but as soon as I make that bigger, I've got a triangle. So it had to be bigger than their difference, larger than three, and then it works all the way until it lays flat this way. And now it's too big. And what that measurement is, is their sum. Two and five is seven. So it worked between subtract, you get three, it had to be bigger than three, 
it works all the way until it lays flat, in which case you're adding them, and it had to be less than 7. Um, the directions are as actually asking us to write our answer as a compound inequality. Compound means you got more than one here. Um, so what we're going to say is that my third side, let's say x is my third side, okay? My third side has to be greater than the difference. I subtracted and I got 3. And it has to be less than their sum. I got that by adding them. There's 7. It has to be between 3 and 7. That's what this says. X has to be greater than, this one has to be bigger than 3. And it has to be less than 7. It has to be between 3 and 7. Alright, you give it a try.